Hi, I'd like to give a quick demo of installing the Relations module in Drupal 7. Uh, first we'll do a clean install of Drupal 7. Alright, then we install the relations module. And then we enable a relation and all of its sub-modules. Sub okay. And then we go to the blocks overview. And there we enable the drop zone block. We need it. Next, we create two content types. One called person. And another one we call group. Then we go to the relation settings and you, then we have to create a relation type and we will call that membership. I'll leave everything else for default. Um, then we select the person and group types from the source bundle select list. And we save our relation type. Okay. Then we are going to create a node from the content type person. create another node of the content type group okay now we go to the person node and here we have our drop zone we've just enabled in the block section. We have to choose the relation we've just created, it was called membership. And then I pick this person to add it to the to a membership relation. I just got one option here, 
to have another option you have to have a page with multiple nodes on it then they will uh, be selectable uh, all but now you have to go to the nodes that you want to connect teamers in this case the group and you can pick this one as well and you can see it remembered the first uh, pick we made so I also picked teamers and that should be enough to create a relationship so let's get on with that okay the new membership from Eric to teamers was made and it's not directional so it's forward and backward this membership you can watch it and you can see over here it is created okay well if you look on the note itself it would be nice to see what relationship this note has therefore we have to add a field to the content type person to show the related notes uh, under this note so we go to content types and we add a field to the person content type and let's call it related content and then we have to choose the relation field type that will do save it we'll just leave this for default for this demonstration next we want to do the same for the group content type we choose an existing field we just create it in the person content type related content save that okay now we should be able to see what the relations to a node are well thank you for watching and i hope you liked it